Welcome everybody, my name's Jason Biondo, and I'm here starting my new channel called Life Changing Wealth. I want to talk to you really about money, finances, how to get out of, from what I would consider poverty, um, all the way up to life changing wealth where uh, you can really do what you want every day. You have that financial freedom. And so that's what this channel is going to be about. It's going to be about getting there and improving my wealth for myself and showing you guys sort of exactly what I'm doing and what I'm watching out for, but also how you can start from a really low, I guess a low investment platform and grow it to get to that life changing wealth and not have to wait 30 to 40 years like everybody else is telling you. Um, some things that I want to discuss on this channel include uh, really a little bit of technical analysis, but I also want to talk about like a real macroeconomic perspective and current trends um, and, and also things that are just, just happening uh, individually on certain cryptocurrencies, certain stocks, um, talk about real estate. I want to go into it all. Uh, a little bit about my background. I uh, graduated college in finance and uh, went on and got my master's in finance. And, uh, and really since then have been doing trades that have uh, made life-changing wealth for me. So let's jump into it and give you a little bit of a taste of really what I want to talk to you about on a daily basis. So let's jump into the charts. Today, I want to talk to you guys about Bitcoin and really what's been, uh, what's been transpiring. So lately, uh, Bitcoin has gone on a, a large, large rise really ever since the growth of the, uh, of the 20 week moving average. So as soon as Bitcoin's uh, price went above what would be the uh, 20 week uh, smooth moving average, uh, we've seen explosive growth. So the price has skyrocketed to a point now where it's reached new all-time highs. So if I, uh, this is the four hour, but let's assume that, let's go to the weekly and then uh, we'll zoom in here. So right here on the weekly chart, guys, you can see that as soon as we hit the moving averages or what would be considered the, the bull market support band, we've had a very nice bounce. So um, just to show you guys what that bounce was so far, um, we're roughly looking at 48% bounce, uh, somewhere in the 50% area. And, uh, and that's right where I got in. So that is right where I loaded up on Bitcoin. Uh, I moved everything into Bitcoin and uh, you know, not everything that I own, but most of my, <clears throat> all of my crypto investments, I, I switched them over to Bitcoin. And so why did I do that? Well, historically, um, in, in Q4, Bitcoin goes on a tear. Uh, if you look back at the history of BTC, uh, you'll notice that, <clears throat> that every fourth quarter, especially after the halving, um, Bitcoin performs really, really well and you can get nice gains. And so... What I'm looking to do is usually what happens is Bitcoin starts to lead the way um, in Q4. And then in January, uh, probably a little bit before then, somewhere around December, I'm going to uh, move my funds over to Ethereum, which typically sees uh, the most gains in January. So what's the real benefit of this? Well, if you can get a 50% gain off of your BTC trades, and then move them over into Ethereum and then double that, uh, now you got 100% gains. Um, you got 100% gains in two months. So that's what I'm looking to do. It is high risk. And by the way, guys, this is not financial advice. This is strictly what I'm doing um, because I'm willing to take on that risk. I also know that this is not, uh, this is not what most people would teach or, um, or uh, like what's the word, uh, I, I guess recommend, because it doesn't follow standard finance modern portfolio theory. But uh, the bottom line for me is when you believe on a racehorse, uh, you, you go with your racehorse because diversification, although optimizes for the sharp ratio and, and, and really to break that down, it, it reduces the amount of risk 
while giving you a higher return. And even though that is true, um, you still get the most gains if you bet on the winner. So <laughs> with that said, right now I've been betting on Bitcoin as, uh, as the winner. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. And let's talk about sort of some other things that are going on in the crypto markets. Um, the main one being, if we look at the, the, uh, the other charts today, like let's go take a quick peek at Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum dipped below uh, uh, essentially the, bit, the Bitcoin the support band, the 20-week the moving average, um, the 20-week EMA and SMA, <laughs> and SMA. And so it dipped below that. And, and I'm also, uh, you, can quickly, you can quickly see here that there's been a, a drop-off right, of Ethereum. There has been a drop-off because the value of Bitcoin has been going up. And so um, until I feel like there is a shift where the Ethereum momentum is going to come back up, uh, I am holding off before jumping into Ethereum. I know historically what Ethereum has done, and I'm basing my, uh, my future trades a little bit on that. Uh, with that said, though, if you if you start to look at the the outflows uh, on uh, on like CryptoQuant and some other tools, it shows that the Ethereum levels on exchanges are at their lowest level uh, pretty much in history. So uh, with that said, Ethereum might see a nice move up. In addition to that, Ethereum is doing coin burning, so they're burning coins all the time. And as we know, as supply is reduced, uh, demand is going to be going up, and this is the supply the supply shrinkage is going to force price up. So I am watching this closely because I know this is going to be my next move. Um, I'm just not quite there yet. I'm convinced that this is going to bounce down uh, in in this sort of channel, um, and I, I, I don't know how low it'll go. But I do suspect it will go lower once uh, Bitcoin starts to, to drive up higher. Um, right now, we're looking at Bitcoin at 63,000. Um, and this is going to 100K, everybody. So this, this is eventually going up to 100K. And as, this, as the price of Bitcoin increases, the value of other altcoins like Ethereum are going to be diminished. So... <laughs> Uh, not the not the USD value, but the Bitcoin value. So if you're holding Bitcoin, you can then transfer your funds over to Ethereum uh, at a lower Bitcoin price and get in get in at a cheaper price. So that's uh, that's what I'm looking to do. Historically, uh, in addition to Bitcoin sort of rallying in Q4 um, and Ethereum rallying in January, usually end of December sometimes in January. Uh, typically after that, <clears throat> that's when we start to see other altcoins move. Another indicator that I look at while, uh, while making these, these trades, is, trades is looking at the Bitcoin dominance. So if we go back over the past few weeks, Bitcoin dominance has been going up, essentially which means that the, uh, the overall value in Bitcoin is growing in compared to the rest of the market. So Bitcoin is taking over from the other cryptocurrencies. And uh, we can see a little bit of a pullback today, but we're hovering around 46%. And uh, I suspect that this will go up to, uh, to the 50s and maybe this into the 60s, uh, which means that everything else is going to be on sale if you're holding Bitcoin. So... So I'm just watching this closely. Um, it just crossed over its own uh, its own bull market support band, and it may come down to get a bounce off of this and then shoot higher. Um, th that's what I'm watching for, and that's what I think will transpire in uh, in the rest of Q4. Um, we're coming up at the end of October, and uh, in November, the predictions out there show that Bitcoin should end up somewhere uh, around ninety to a hundred thousand dollars. So uh, November is going to be a big month, and that's that's according to according to um, an analyst called Plan B. So Plan B thinks we're going up to 100k very very soon, in a big way. Um, another thing I'm watching for. So basically, if you get into Bitcoin now, there's a good chance you could uh, you could go up 40 percent 
forty percent in a month. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> and uh, the next thing I'll be looking at after that, after Bitcoin, Ethereum, and th the next one is going to be Cardano. So um, I'll probably save that for a separate video because uh, because I could talk about Cardano. Um, all day pretty much but um, usually what happens is you get Bitcoin blasting off then you get ethereum to hit then you get other altcoins like Cardano to uh, to really start to fire um, right now if we look at the Cardano uh, Bitcoin valuation charts we can see that it's been hammered um, the price has been wrecked so if you sold up here nice job congrats um, if you are still holding on Congrats, because your portfolio is eventually going to come back. But uh, when we're looking at this, you know, it it got a nice bounce at the 3,200 sat level, 3,250. Um, I do suspect this will drop further, even though it's had it's had a nice little bounce today. Uh, I don't think that's going to continue unless Bitcoin continues to hold its price. So um, I think this is just a temporary bounce today. And, uh, and those are some of the things I look at. Uh, I can go into more detail, but uh, I'll save them for other videos. And uh, one other thing I want to talk about today, if you're looking at the market, is Tesla. So I'm invested in Tesla. Um, Tesla is right at the cusp now of breaking its all-time high. And the reason why this is huge is... Uh, you know, let me just say, I got into Tesla right around 650, so right, right around here is when I started to buy, um, and uh, and I knew that the analyst, I you know, I did some research on it. The analysts were all pointing to the fact that Tesla should be valued somewhere uh, between 750 and 900 dollars a share. Well, we're almost at the at the 900 dollar uh, all time high, and I think it's going to break it, and when it does, it's going to be very interesting because then Tesla is going to be in price discovery. So, and once we're in price discovery, things can really, really skyrocket. Uh, no guarantee on that. It, it's already pretty far extended from uh, from the moving averages from the twenty week, but I think we're going to break it. I think we're going to smash through it, and then I, then I think we're going to be in price discovery and really see some uh, some momentum. So. Those are some things that I'm watching out for, and um, I can't wait to talk to you guys more about some other investments and some other things I'm looking at.